German Throwdown Qualifying Workout 16.2 is thrusters and handstand push-ups. The athlete will have 8 minutes to complete as many reps as possible of 3 thrusters, 3 handstand push-ups, 6 thrusters, 6 handstand push-ups, 9 thrusters, 9 handstand push-ups. This pattern will continue until 8 minutes expire. This is a standard barbell thruster in which the barbell moves from the bottom of a front squat to full lockout overhead. The bar starts on the ground. The hip crease must clearly pass below the top of the knees in the bottom position. The barbell must come to a full lockout overhead with the hips, knees and arms fully extended and the bar directly over the body. The first rep may be done in a squat clean style. The athlete will receive a no rep if they failed to drop the hip crease below the top of the knee or did not lock out their arms at the top of every repetition or did not finish the bar over the center of their body. Prior to starting you will need to establish the foot line for your handstand push-up. Stand facing the wall on the same surface your hands will be on, with your feet at hip width and your toes touching the wall. While standing tall, reach your hands over your head with your elbows straight, shoulders extended and your thumbs touching. From here, mark the height of your wrists, then measure down 8 cm and create a line on the wall. Mark your line with a permanent marker, chalk or tape. Judges may restore the line between rounds as needed. Each handstand push-up begins and ends with the heels in contact with the wall and above the pre-marked line. The athlete may place their hands however they choose as long as their heels are above the line. At the bottom the athlete's head makes contact with the ground. If the head and hands are on different surfaces, the surfaces must be level. The feet do not need to remain in contact with the wall for the entire movement, but must touch above the line at the beginning and end of each rep. Kipping is allowed. The athlete will receive a no rep if the heels were not above the line at the beginning of the rep or failed to finish the rep with heels above the line or failed to connect both feet above the line at the same time at the end of the repetition or failed to touch their head on the floor. Please make sure to read the full workout description, especially the tiebreak rules and submit your score in time. <music>